didn't get up before the kids clock turned green I just am not super in the habit of getting up extra early these days and that's okay but anyway this is their hatch rest that tells them when it's time to get up when it's okay to get up and ours turns green around 7 30 every morning but which one is your favorite most special this one. pink bear pinky, pinky, pinky. <laughs> You guys are so helpful. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I'm so excited to bring you along with us today for a day in the life video. Um, Bjorn is out of town actually and so it'll just be myself and the kids. Today is Friday, September 9th and I just wanted to bring you along so you can see what a day in our life looks like. A pretty typical Friday. We're mostly I think going to be home all day today and I just wanted to pick up the camera and bring you along with us. We are here in our new house, and so you'll see a lot of glimpses and peeks at the new house, of course, throughout today's video, which is always fun. It's been a fun summer of settling in here. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'm so excited to bring you along for the ride today. This morning we've got real fancy breakfast. It's frozen waffles and some frozen sausage to heat up. This is how most mornings look. This one, can I put one? Good oh. job, buddy. Yeah. What kind of waffles are they? Boo buddy Mm-hmm, yummy. Soren tends to come over for pretty much every single meal that I'm cooking. And he just slides his little chair over so that he can reach the counter and cook with mama. And I, I love it. Someday I won't have little kids to cook alongside me. It's definitely a more gray day today. It's supposed to be a high in the 60s, which is really going to feel like fall and be a little bit rainy. Yesterday was a high in, I think, the upper 80s. We were hot, you know, we went out for ice cream last night actually. So we definitely soaked up a little bit of the end of summer and now we're kind of settling into fall. Although actually, I think next week's supposed to be in the 80s a little bit too. You like the muffins though, Soren? Yeah. We made banana pumpkin muffins yesterday, our first pumpkin recipe of the fall. So we're kind of having a bread heavy breakfast today, but that's okay. It's a lovely day. It can be a lovely day even when it's not sunny, right? So Sophie got a, a couple sticker books. She had saved up for quite some time with our penny reward system. 
So we've got Playful Pets and Animals. She loves these. Um, here, I'll show them Playful Pets. These are fabulous. It's by the Brain Games Company. And they have, this one is stickers, specifically sticker by letter. That's just the answer key. Where's the stickers? Sophie knows it better than me. Um, this is the sticker page that goes with page seven. And it just is so cute. She loves them and she could do these all day. Yeah, it's very easy. Maybe not for, for real kids. Like so when it doesn't have one because he's kind of little. Yeah, he is kind of little, you're right. Uh, and there's a parrot. Mm -hmm. And there's a horse. There's some fishies. Cute, and you see, yeah, you started that cute little little girl puppy. This is the penny reward system I was talking about. Um, they each have a jar, and I know we have some things in here that aren't pennies, but it's technically just supposed to be pennies. It doesn't really matter, though. I can link the blog post that Abby from M is for Mama wrote. I think it's a blog post about this reward system. So the kids recently cashed in. We don't just buy new toys all the time. It took Sophie, like, I don't know. Was it five or six weeks to earn enough pennies? We've got um, some dino cars, pullback dino cars. Pretty cute, he's really excited. We like dinosaurs in this family, like many kids do. So that's Soren's reward. And like I said, we don't just buy them new toys all the time. It took a long time to cash this in. So they were really excited. And these came this morning. We were expecting them to come like in the evening, so. A little distracting. I shouldn't have opened these no. up before school, but they were so excited to get their rewards. So we opened them up and now it's time to do school. Come on over, we're gonna start school, Sophie. Mommy, eat me over. I'm gonna grab our... Um... Mommy, eat me over. Yeah, you can bring your tools. Sophie, can you come on over? I'm gonna grab our Bible and our memory book. And our nature poem. All right, we are at, oh, Jacob's dream. We said we would do this one today. Jacob traveled to the house of his uncle Laban. On the way, he stopped for the night. Heart and with all your soul oh. and with all your and with all your good job okay let's do some of our questions who made you God made me God what else did God make God made all things why did God make you in all things for his own glory good job how can you glorify God good why ought you to glorify God? Because he loves me and takes care of me. Yep, he made me and takes care of me. Okay, here's our nature poem for today. Ooh, it's about a spider. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. It's called Spin Me a Web Spider. Spin me a web spider across the window pane, for I shall never break it and make you start again. Cast your net of silver as soon as it is spun, and hang it with the morning dew that glitters in the sun. And then shade in Friday. Awesome. Today is Friday, September 9. Okay, can you do 9? help Raymond give the squirrels acorns. I'm gonna cut out the groups of acorns at the bottom and you're gonna help them make five, okay? okay. So like this says three acorns plus something. It's five. Oh, you ready? They need, some more. they need just some more to make five. So you are gonna be their helper. You excited?
Sophie's pre-K journal. Today, you're gonna do this page. Soren, we're gonna get your math book. Can you get your math book? Okay, this says draw a picture of animals and things you see in the snow. So think of any kind of thing that you see in snow. It doesn't have to be an animal, okay? Draw any winter things. So Sophie's doing her independent work time, which is a preschool, pre-K journal prompt. And Soren and I are just gonna take his math workbook over to the couch. This is Soren's math book. It's from the brand Mathematical Reasoning. And we've done this one with Sophie before. It says age three in the corner and Soren will be three before too long, won't you? Um, so he loves this so much. He's just so excited to have his very own workbook. You ready? Which picture has two apples? Good. Which picture has three apples? Which picture has one apple? Yeah. It says to draw a string to each kid. Can you make the balloon's string go down to each child? Day reading is perfect for one. And then what we'll do, guys, before nap time is our, our read aloud time, okay? Okay, we just finished our morning portion, our morning session of our homeschool time, and that's the majority of our homeschool time. I do save little bits for after lunch, and so what we do in the morning time is we hit things hard like Bible and language arts and math especially in the morning so we whack all of those out while we're feeling fresh and awake and then after lunchtime I like to do read aloud and then kind of our electives I guess you could call it so we can rotate through things like an art lesson, a science lesson, or music, and maybe a health lesson. We don't do all of those every day, we just rotate. So we're done for the morning portion of homeschool time today. It's about 10 o'clock right now, so um, it's been taking us about an hour to get through our morning stuff, which is totally fine because I, again, I have just a four and a half year old and a two and a half year old. Um, we're doing preschool and pre-K level work, so I don't expect them to sit for um, very long and we kind of do rapid fire through the subjects, making sure we hit and repeat the important concepts, but then I'm not going to force them to sit for, you know, hours in the morning. So we're already done by about 10 o'clock and I like to start homeschooling around 9 a.m. Let's just go here. Follow me. So if you've seen videos of our daily life at the apartment, you know we have a dishwasher there, but we also have a dishwasher here. And I promise to never take a dishwasher for granted. I am so, so grateful we have a dishwasher here at this house. Something else that makes me feel really spoiled is our ice maker and water dispenser in our new fridge here. I seriously feel so spoiled. It's such a gift to just have stuff like this. And maybe it seems like a little thing, but it's really not. It's something else we can be so grateful for. So while the kids are playing in the living room, I'm gonna sit down here and attempt to drink a good amount of water. I've realized that I am probably always dehydrated. Are you like this too? Just forgetting to drink water throughout the day. Um, and then I like wonder why I have a headache or why I'm so tired. And I realize I've had like one glass of water or less all day and that's not good. That's not okay. Um, it's Hydration is important for so many reasons. So I haven't really been drinking other things as much as ice water. I love that speaker. This is my... Peaceful evening playlist. Adds a lot to the atmosphere. I know this doesn't look great because I haven't been very careful with stirring it, but I have a sourdough starter and her name is Bodhi. I feed Bodhi about every day when I have her here out here on the counter. Last month I was labeling a bunch of random things and I love my label maker so much. I can leave a link for it below. It's just, 
I love the font. I love how it's, what is that called, embossed? Where it's raised, kind of bumpy. Really, really cute. They're still going strong. Some Hi. Hi. With some Hi. happy playtime. My name is Hannah. Oh, how nice. What's your name, young man? Bjorn. What is it? Bjorn. Your name's Bjorn Soren? Mm. Honestly, they just mostly play with play kitchen stuff and coloring books and then couch cushions. Oh, and you're cooking too? Standing underneath the lights have these potatoes from my mother-in-law's um, garden and so I thought I would just boil up some potatoes to go with our chicken for lunch today which is chicken that I baked last night. You like those muffins? To each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit Sound of empty streets. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So while I'm boiling potatoes over here, I put on this little. Um, it's from the Good and the Beautiful. It's a storybook website that they have. It's a whole database or whatever of different picture books and chapter books. Even I think like short chapter books that they are reading out loud so the kids really like these and it feels a little bit better than having them watch a TV show. Soren's helping mash the potatoes for lunch. I don't actually make mashed potatoes like hardly ever but it sounded really good on this cooler gray day to go along with our chicken and corn for lunch, right? Doesn't that sound good? Something fun about this potato masher is this is your great grandma's. So when Bjorn was little, his grandma gave him the special job of getting to help mash potatoes and this is her potato masher. And she passed away in 2014 and Bjorn was given the potato masher. I think you have potatoes in your hair, Soren. Soren always has the most awesome hair. <laughs> He's had like three haircuts by now, but he gets the best bed head and stuff. Mama. But yeah, this is the potato masher that Bjorn grew up with. Sophie came over to help a little bit with our mashing. All right, here's our lunch, which ended up being more of a comfort food lunch. How fun is that? So this is chicken that I baked last night. I did a poor job plating it there, but it has like a nice spice rub. We have apples from the apple orchard some frozen corn, and then this. These are the mashed potatoes that you made, right buddy? Mm -hmm. Did you help? You did a great job mashing them. We tasted them and they taste fabulous, really good. So uh -oh. we have a nice comfort food lunch for today.